So we have just published our World Intellectual Property Report, this time on the theme of breakthrough innovation and economic growth. We have focused on this uh, theme this time because economic growth is of course uh, an essential component of or measure of the health of economies. It's not the only measure, but it is an essential measure and an important one that we have. Uh, and what we know is that a major component of economic growth is technological progress or innovation. So we've focused on those parts of innovation that might be considered to have in the past expanded greatly economic growth capacity and economic growth and several present potential breakthrough innovations that may in the future have a similar effect. So insofar as the past is concerned, we focused on aeroplanes, antibiotics and semiconductors. Uh, and as far as the contemporary scene is concerned, we focused on 3D printing, on robotics and on nanotechnology. These areas are considered by many to be uh, potential areas in which we'll see economic expansion. Uh, what are the findings of the report? Well, one finding is that you need to have a healthy innovation ecosystem to support activity in this area, and that's something that we all perhaps know. A second finding is that there is a concentration of innovative activity in these areas, and we find the same group of countries very prominent uh, in the areas of potential breakthrough. United States, Japan, Republic of Korea, Germany, France, uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, perhaps one uh, interesting development is the emergence of China as the only really uh, middle income country or emerging country which is approaching this group of six countries that I mentioned in terms of activity. And we see that uh, China is, uh, since 2005 at any rate, a major player in the area of uh, robotics and uh, 3D printing. Another major finding of the report, which is perhaps not surprising, uh, is that research institutions and universities are becoming much more important players. Uh, and we see this in particular with respect to nan nanotechnology where the major filers are in fact universities and research institutions. So if you like, this is another indication that science and technology are coming closer together and this is causing the fundamental research institutions to be more active players in the process of commercialization in the sense that they are staking commercial positions by uh, applying for patents.